As I'm sitting here minding my own business, just reading the word of God, and I'm reading in Hebrews, I'm getting slammed with revelation, even though I have seen this so many times in three decades. Listen to this, Hebrews uh, 6.13. When God made a promise to Abraham because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, surely blessing I will bless you and multiplying I will multiply you. So he made an oath to Abraham that and that oath... He made, he, because he couldn't swear by anybody great, greater. God himself made an oath. He couldn't swear by anyone greater. So what happened with that oath? The oath is a promise from God saying, I will bless you and I will multiply you and I will keep multiplying you. Listen carefully. He made a promise to Abraham. But you say, well, that's Abraham. That's not me. Wait a minute. Galatians says we are Abraham's seed and heir, heirs according to the promise. You are Abraham's seed and heir according to the promise. So therefore, the same oath that God made you, it is the same that God made Abraham, is the same oath and promise happening to you today. You are the same person receiving the promise. I am receiving the promise that God said, surely blessing, I will bless you and multiply and I will multiply you. I am telling you, it is exploding all over my spirit. I receive it again for this day. I'm here minding my own business and bam, I'm getting slammed by revelation. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing, he will bless me. Multiplying, he will multiply me. Oh my goodness. And he will continue blessing us and continue multiplying us. So God bless you. Have a great day. Enjoy your blessing. Enjoy the multiplication. God swore by himself. He swore it to Abraham and we are heirs of the promise. Receive it this day. Hallelujah.